Osteoarthritis is by far the most common form of arthritis and is a major cause of pain and disability in older people. It is mostly seen in females, obese people and those with joint trauma. Now before moving on to the joint findings of the osteoarthritis, let's look at the normal anatomy of synovial joint. We have two bones articulating with each other. The articulating cartilages lines these two bones shown here in blue. The synovial membrane surrounding the joint and the articulating cartilage along with synovial membrane forms the inner lining of the joint. We have synovial fluid in the joint cavity produced by the synovial membrane and at last the fibrous capsule covering the entire joint. Now on to the joint findings in osteoarthritis. There is degeneration of articular cartilages and it is the defining feature of osteoarthritis. Cartilages are under constant process of remodeling. But when there is accelerated degradation of the structural components of cartilages, eventually the cartilage becomes vulnerable to load bearing injuries and fissuring of the cartilage surface occurs. There is decreased cartilage thickness. Fibrocartilage is produced at the joint margin which undergoes endochondral ossification to form osteophytes. Osteophytes are bony projections that form a long joint margin. They restrict the joint movement and causes pain in the joints. Osteoarthritis is accompanied by abnormalities in subchondral bone which becomes sclerotic and subchondral cysts are also found. The synovium in osteoarthritis is often hyperplastic and inflamed but to a much lesser extent than in rheumatoid arthritis. However, the synovial fluid is non-inflammatory that is WBC count is less than 2000 per microliter. The outer capsule also thickens and contracts and there is narrowing of the joint space. Patients with generalized nodal osteoarthritis may be asymptomatic or may develop pain, stiffness and swelling of one or more joints of the hands. Swelling and hardening of distal interphalangeal joint is also known as Heverden's node and that of proximal interphalangeal joint is known as Bouchard nodes. And to not to get confused with these names, remember B comes before H. So when you go from up to below, the proximal interphalangeal joint comes first, so Bouchard nodes comes first and Heverden's node in the distal interphalangeal joint. Involvement of the first carpometacarpal joint is also common leading to pain on trying to open bottles and jars. Affected joints are enlarged as a result of osteophyte formation and often so characteristic lateral deviation reflecting the asymmetric focal cartilage loss of osteoarthritis. At the knee, osteoarthritis principally targets patellofemoral and medial tibiofemoral compartments but eventually spread to the whole of the joint. Prolonged walking, rising from a chair, getting in or out of a car or bending to put on shoes and socks may be difficult. And briefly about the treatment, activity modification will help a lot, acetaminophen and NSAIDs can be given for pain control, intraarticular glucocorticoid injections are effective in the treatment of knee osteoarthritis and are also used for symptomatic relief in the treatment of osteoarthritis at the first carpometacarpal joint.